Hello, it's some dust or something. I'm here today because I wanted to talk about EO Triceratops in Path of Titans. And to help me demonstrate the EO Trike for you, I have Tyra, which is my adult EO Trike. She was actually one of the first dinosaurs I ever grew in this game. And right now she is rocking a cool, I think it's called a Sunburst skin. Yeah, cool Sunburst skin. Um, I've already done videos on Styracosaurus and Albertosaurus, so it feels like Eotrike would really put the cap on the trifecta in this game, and I just really wanted to uh, get out there and talk about this. So, we'll start off with uh, how I choose to run the trike. Of course, I run the headbutt, a tail whip. On my one, I have sharpened horns, and this is an ability that uses stamina, um, but does give you an attack increase for one minute. And then we have the charge. Now check this out. It starts off slow. Gradually gets faster. And by the end of the charge, you can actually clear some pretty impressive ground. Especially if you're going downhill, I mean, you are just blazingly fast. So that's what I choose to run on it. You do have other options, I believe, if we go to abilities. So you do have the sharpened horns on the headbutt, like I showed, but you do also have a bite you can run. Um, I prefer the headbutt. On the front limb, like the other ceratopsids, you do have a stomp that you have to be standing still to use. This one, I think, is best on the trike over the other two. You'll notice I still don't use it. Um, but if you're going to use it on any of them, I would say the track is probably your best bet because you're already going to be face tanking things. Um, I don't use it because it does use stamina and it is super easy to see coming, so I never really use that. Um, then the charge and the tail. Uh, your other abilities, if we're talking metabolism, you can run herbivore, forager, or fat reserves. I prefer to run herbivore. Um, although I do see a lot of people run Forager if they're trying to grow a trike faster. And then with Hide, unfortunately, you do only have the standard Hide. Um, so let's talk about this thing, how to use it, what I think about it. First of all, the biggest issue you're going to be facing playing Trike Ceratops is stamina. It's stamina, unfortunately. Um, you can see your trout speed isn't the worst in the world, but it is not fast. And your sprint takes a second to get up, and once you start sprinting, it just burns through your stamina. Like, you see how quickly that's going down. And the problem is, it doesn't refill particularly quickly either. Like, I'm gonna sleep real quick. And that is a very slow climb. So, stam's a rough thing with this dino, especially given that the sharpened horns to give you an attack buff as well as your charge, are going to use stamina. In the case of the charge, it uses like half of your stamina bar, and it does have a fairly long cooldown. Um, the charge is very effective. If you hit something with it, nothing in this game is going to want to take that charge. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. But you use like one charge, and then um, your stamina is like almost completely wiped out, especially if you already used the sharpened horns beforehand to buff your own attack, in which case you're not going to be able to use either for a little bit. Um, yeah, speed's not that great. Definitely your water speed is not that great. Let's look at some of the raw stats here. It looks like, as far as health is concerned, you are running the same health as uh, Dinocurus and Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus as well, with 1,000 health, which is super good. And I have to mention as well, uh, you are a Ceratopsid, which means you take reduced damage to your head, which is why I said face tanking things is the way to play this thing because you are not fast and you don't have the stamina to run away from things really so you're going to be face tanking and anything that hits your head is going to be doing less damage and say you're fighting like a rex or something as long as you stay far enough back that he's hitting your head and not your back you'll be hitting his head and doing extra damage so that is actually a point in your favor if it wasn't for that i would say the eotrike wouldn't be that good uh, your battle weight, your combat weight, is 6,700, which is less than Spino, T-Rex, and Barsboldia, and just slightly beneath Dinocurus, so you are the lightest Apex, which means uh, those other Apexes will be doing more damage to you and you'll be doing a little less, but you weigh more than anything else in the game, which means reduced damage from them and more damage for you. Let's see, stamina here, oof, 100. That is less than T-Rex, that is less than Barsboldia. 
that is the same as Dinocurus and Spinosaurus. It is just not that good. And um, your stamina drain is 3.33, which hurts. That is the same as T-Rex and Spino, and that is more stamina drain than Barsboldia and Dinocurus, just to kind of show you how you stack up. So your stamina is not good. People talk all the time about wanting an alternative to trike because it just takes forever to get anywhere and you run out of stam all the time and that's why I really recommend Alberta Ceratops. Um, your turn radius is actually okay or your uh, precise movement which is good because you're gonna need that. <laughs> you're really gonna need that. If it was any worse than this you would be in some serious trouble uh, because again you're going to be wanting to take those hits to your head. We're talking matchups. You should be okay one on one against anything that isn't an apex. Um, if anything is dumb enough to mess with you, again, you're not going to be running from a whole lot. You really shouldn't be running from anything as a Neo Trike. Um, but if anything's going to mess with you, you should be able to stare it down and take it out. Just keep hitting that headbutt. Uh, it's even better if you can get the sharpened horns, although the sharpened horns does only last for one minute. So a lot of people will pop that and then use their charge. Again, if you're going to use that charge, just know that might be the only one you get during the fight, so be aware of that. Sorry about that, my wife was calling me, if you could hear my ringtone there. Um, if you're talking apexes, make sure you're face tanking correctly, make sure they're hitting your head, you should be hitting their head, and, uh, you know, you, you have an okay shot, even though you have the lowest weight. Um... What else is there to say as far as abilities and things? I mean... I went over the stamina, the speed, you're not super fast, your charge does pick up speed over time, which is nice. Let's get into the calls and animations here, starting with the broadcast. That really travels too, you'll hear that from a while away. Here's your heart call. Here is your aggro. Your alert, your low call, your shake it off, and your look around. So nothing too crazy here. It's not like the sty in the Alberta where it has a ton of different animations and stuff. It has the kind of milk toast, but you are imposing. You're just like so giant, you know. Um, Okay, now that we've gone through that, let's look at the skins here. Starting with Default, Jungle, Skull, Volcanic, Raspberry, Bold, Charcoal, Capped, Sunburst, Albino, Melanistic, Backer, and then the royal, which is what you get for uh, referring people to this game. This is a good dino. Very hard to grow. Like I said, you're not good at running from things. And if you're small, a lot of things will probably mess with you. Um, really, you're going to want to get as big as possible as soon as possible so that you can start that face tank game. You are scary. Um, you are a great addition to a herd. You're a really good foundation for a herd, actually. And uh, if you want something that's slow and steady, can deal with itself in a fight, you don't have to worry about most of the roster, then this can be a really good dino for you. Anyway, that about does it for Eotriceratops, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.